In the world of aviation, there's a constant quest for the perfect blend of speed, agility, and style. Pilots yearn for an aircraft that delivers not just performance, but also an exhilarating experience. They want to feel the heart-pounding thrill of soaring through the skies, the wind rushing past, the earth far below. How can we marry the adrenaline rush of a sports car with the freedom of flight? Today, we are talking about a plane that claims to carry both of these features. Black Shape Prime, an aircraft that brings the thrill of a high-performance sports car to the skies. But what makes it so unique? Stay tuned to find out why the Black Shape Prime is revolutionizing light aviation. Hailing from Italy, Black Shape aircraft emerged on the scene in 2010. The company, though relatively new, has a clear mission. Make light sport airplane that emphasizes the word sport without sacrificing safety. And they've done just that, carving out a niche for themselves in the light sport aircraft market with a unique blend of engineering prowess and Italian design sensibilities. Black Shape's focus always was on the creation of high performance aircraft. They're not interested in producing run of the mill planes. Instead, they strive to create aircraft that stand out from the crowd. The ethos of Black Shape is deeply ingrained in the Italian tradition of design. Much like Ferrari, Pagani, and other supercars originating from Italy, all the sleek lines and high quality finishes of a Black Shape plane is meticulously crafted, with luxury and aesthetic leading the design. Despite its relatively short existence, Black Shape has already made a significant impact on the industry. With Prime, they target a specific niche in the market, those who demand the feel of a supercar combined with time-tested engineering. The Black Shape Prime, being an incredibly beautiful and performance-oriented plane, isn't really a Black Shape innovation. Moreover, Black Shape's expertise mostly lies within the interior, as the fuselage can be traced back to the early 80s. Let's take a closer look. This is the ASSO 10, a product of the Italian company ASSO IRAE, led by Giuseppe Vidor. Interestingly, Giuseppe was a carpenter by day and a genius aviation engineer by night. He designed and built over 15 aircraft and his company sold over 500 kits of his designs. All made from wood, they were quite popular. One of them, the ASSO 10 Jewel, was bought by another Italian company called Millennium Aircraft. And a few years later, this design became a foundation for the Millennium Master, a full carbon variant of the Jewel. The prototype first appeared in Germany in 2006 and was warmly welcomed. Millennium decided to launch production in October 2007, starting with complete aircraft before commencing kit production. Unfortunately, the company went bankrupt before production of the Master could begin, and only then did Black Shape buy the design. This legendary plane then evolved into the Prime. Interestingly, Black Shape wasn't the only one to adopt the Millennium design. Pelegrin Limited, a small aircraft manufacturer from Latvia, also saw the value in this design and decided to adapt it for their own purposes. This led to the creation of the Pelegrin Tarragon. The Tarragon shares many similarities with the Black Shape Prime, as both are derived from the same design. However, Pelegrin went with a simpler interior, and two of them have now been acquired by the Latvian Air Force for training purposes. Now, let's dive into the numbers and specs, as this design is truly unique to the light sport aircraft segment. With a blend of performance, style, and advanced materials, it has made a significant mark in the world of light aviation. The fuselage of the Prime is made from carbon fiber, with an aluminum and steel structural frame, which results in incredibly strong, yet light airplane. The Prime measures in at approximately 7 meters or 22 feet in length, contributing to its aerodynamic streamlined appearance. This sleekness is complemented by its cockpit design, which features tandem seating for two under a bubble canopy, ensuring both visibility and comfort for the pilot and passenger. The wings of the Prime are another notable feature. And by the way, is it just me or Prime's fuselage is very similar to one popular fighter from the World War era? Let me know in the comments below. Wings are also constructed from carbon fiber, and their trapezoidal form stretches 8 meters or 26.5 feet across, providing the aircraft with excellent lift and maneuverability. The wings are more than just flight surfaces, though. They also house the aircraft's fuel tanks, which have a capacity of 120 liters or 31.7 gallons. This enables the Prime to boast an impressive range, making it a versatile choice for light sport aviation. It's also worth noting that these wings are designed to safely handle a load factor of up to 4G in positive maneuvers, like climbs or turns, and up to 2G in negative maneuvers, such as steep dives or sudden descents. The tail is pretty standard, 
With a single vertical and horizontal stabilizer, like the rest of the aircraft, the tail is constructed from carbon fiber, ensuring strength and lightness. Lastly, the Prime's landing gear follows a retractable tricycle configuration. This includes one wheel situated under the nose and two tucked under the wings. This arrangement not only aids in maneuverability on the ground, but also contributes to the aircraft's overall aerodynamic efficiency during flight. I was lucky enough to be a passenger in Prime years ago, and I truly felt how the plane accelerated much quicker when the gear was up after the takeoff. As always, a few words about safety. As this plane fits into the category of the ultralights in the Europe, it comes with BRS, which will land you smoothly in case of any damage or engine failure. Also, worth mentioning that the carbon fiber itself is very durable, but if any part is damaged, in almost every case it's a replacement of that part, not a repair. Just something to keep in mind when considering the costs to own. There are three variants of the Prime, but essentially they differ only by engines and propellers. The base model of the Black Shape Prime is the BK-100. It is equipped with a 100 horsepower Rotax 912 ULS engine, widely used in light sport aircraft, and spins a two-bladed variable pitch propeller. This base model still has impressive climb rate of 5.6 meters per second or 1100 feet per minute and cruise speed of 260 kilometers or 162 miles per hour. In terms of range, Black Shape claims for 1260 kilometers or 783 miles. Next comes the BK-100T, a turbocharged variant of the base model. It comes with a 115 horsepower Rotax 914 UL engine that can maintain its performance at higher altitudes, where the air is thinner. The climb rate is higher at 7.4 meters per second, or 1,450 feet per minute, with a bit less range at 1,204 kilometers, or 748 miles. And if you want to go real fast, there is a BK-100IS model with 141 horsepower Rotax 915 IS engine. This variant can achieve a maximum cruise speed of 344 kilometers or 214 miles per hour, but as a result, has much less range, just 926 kilometers or 575 miles. But unlike other aircraft we review in our videos, the best part of Prime is probably inside. So let's talk about the luxurious interior of this plane. Stepping inside the Black Shape Prime, you immediately feel how thoughtful, luxurious, yet sporty it feels inside. The cockpit is designed to accommodate two people in tandem seating arrangement, one behind the other. This config is definitely much more popular in military aircraft than civil, but to me, Prime would lose all its sportiness if the design featured a more traditional cabin. Both seats are positioned under a clear bubble canopy that provides panoramic views, enhancing the flying experience and aiding in navigation. Much like sitting in a supercar, there isn't a lot of space, but the seat tightly wraps around your back so you feel secured and comfortable. Another distinct feature of this plane is four-point harness. Both the pilot and passenger seats come equipped with a four-point harness system, which you might think should be standard for all planes, but actually, many planes, especially older ones, come with three or even two-point seatbelts. Also, it's worth mentioning that Black Shape offers a wide variety for the upholsterings, so you can opt for almost everything in between of sturdy and sporty suede seats, to soft and luxurious perforated leather ones. Overall, the design of the cabin doesn't feel overly aggressive, but it's definitely not the chill-out sofas that you could find in the typical Beechcraft. Another thing that this plane, much like any supercar, lacks of baggage space. The only place to stuff your belongings is right behind the back seat, and to be honest, nothing bigger than a backpack won't really fit there. For the avionics, glass cockpit comes with the basic config. All avionics come from Dynon, and include Skyview SVHDX 1100 EFIS, COM radio, intercom, and transponder. There are also a few backup analog instruments, such as compass, anemometer, and altimeter. Layout is one of the best I've ever seen. With stick in the middle and throttle on the left, it's probably because of the military-grade ergonomics, as this is basically a simplified cabin of any modern fighter jet. Additionally, you can equip this plane with Dynon Autopilot, add avionics display for the backseat co-pilot, or even fit a Garmin G3X in the center console. Prime seems to be very popular in Europe, as all the planes I've found now wear from Netherlands, Germany, and Poland. Price-wise, you can find an older plane for 135 grand, and newer models will be anywhere between 200 and 300 grand. 
Also, the price highly depends on the number of additional equipment, but even the base model has all the necessary and modern avionics. In conclusion, the Black Shape Prime is a great example how the time-tested design can be adapted for a luxurious and sporty product. Great choice if you are looking for something sportier and love the military-inspired cockpit. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.